member for Clark and leader of the Greens. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is also to the Minister for Education. Minister, the full report of the inquiry into sexual abuse in the state's public school system was received by your department nearly five months ago and only released through right to information on the same day you tabled the summary in here. It reveals some record of concern about more than 40 current employees, including at least three principals, with half potentially requiring further investigation. Minister, the question Tasmanian parents are asking is how safe are Tasmanian students in our public schools? Minister for Education. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for her question. Uh, with regards to her question, I can provide her the general community as well as parents of young people that are at each of our schools, that as the minister responsible, I will take every step possible to ensure our children are safe. That is my commitment and that is what we are seeking to do through taking these steps of having this independent inquiry. And it is why this government took action with regards to the commission of inquiry, because we recognised that we needed to ensure that these matters were appropriately and thoroughly investigated by the right bodies with the appropriate powers mm -hmm. to be able to ensure that we can take informed action, we can report that to the people of the Tasmanian community, and that we can have those assurances into the future. But not till 2023. I note that this is the government that has taken action. Right. I know that this is very confronting. I am the minister responsible. I accept that, Mr Speaker. But what I can do here today is ensure that I take every step possible, along with my colleagues, to ensure that children are kept safe so why there as possible, Mr Speaker. That you won't and as speak I have about. outlined, Mr Speaker, I'm advised the appropriate action has been taken by the Secretary of the Department of yep. Education to review and action any immediate risks to children and young people in Tasmania in government schools that were identified mm. by the report. This included reviewing all known historic allegations of child sexual abuse made against current employees identifiable in the report to ensure appropriate action was taken. Mr Speaker, I've already outlined the fact that the reviewers were given open access to departmental files. And as part of the Secretary's review of historic allegations, each matter has been reviewed in turn and a decision made about what further action needs to be taken. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I can assure the House that I and the Secretary of the Department of Education take, this, take the safety of our children incredibly seriously right. and ensure that any allegations that come to us are appropriately dealt with. Yes. Yes. 